Hi, I'm Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts, and today we're going to look at my new listing at 2015 WorldCat 295 Center Console. Enjoy this tour. It'll be a general walkthrough of the boat, and feel free to reach out to me for any uh, questions about the boat. The WorldCat 295 is a beautiful cat. Look at the uh, two holes up here, the lines at high freeboard. It's a very comfortable and dry boat. You can see you really maximize the space with the catamaran for this length boat. The bow is very wide, so there's lots of space up there inside the boat and up on this forward deck where you have the Lumar windlass, big chain lockers, lots of pop-up cleats and rod storage. Coming back, we'll take a quick look. The freeboard is pretty high, so you get a nice dry and comfortable ride. And then the boat's very easy to uh, enter back here towards the transom where there are twin 300 Yamahas. The great feature about the transom of this 295 is that walk through right through the middle of the two engines. So this is about uh, 26 inches wide, I believe, just over two feet wide. It's a very wide path to come back where you've got a swim ladder also with the cat you have the engines very far apart. So that creates a really nice feature being able to walk right through the middle. While we're on the transom here, we'll take a look at a couple features back here. On both sides, you have jump seats that fold up really easy with very nice upholstery. There's a shore power inlet here, so you've got a battery charger on board as well. Leave it plugged into the dock, or you can have the boat on a trailer. This boat does come with the trailer couple extra rocket launchers bolted on back here and then on both sides of the boat you have cutting boards as well as um, cup holders and lots of rod holders built into the gunnels of the boat fuel fills on each side it does have two separate tanks and pop-up cleats as well as a water tank the gunnels are nice and high with comfortable padding and all they're on the boat You've got storage for, this is a large storage comp compartment. And then you've also got bait and tackle, both sides actually. You have tackle boxes and a large bait well right here in the middle. Great thing about this bait well is there is a seat that goes on the top, which is where there are handrails with a fiberglass bottom. And then you have a flip up stool. So similarly, the middle of the console, you have seats with flip-up bolsters and then a nice place to rest your feet when you're at the helm. At the helm you can see the controls for the twin Yamaha 300s. We have a very sophisticated electronics on this boat that the current owner has upgraded. You can see the two 12-inch Simrad displays. These are touchscreen displays with the uh, Echo Sound fish finder here we can see going and autopilot right in the middle. Up above the console, you'll see the JL audio speakers with the Fusion stereo system that we've got lightly playing right now. And then also your VHF radio. They've added a few nice lights. So the foredeck, as well as uh, lights aft, as well as if you're gonna go out early in the morning or late at night in the dark, you do have red overhead lights that you can switch from uh, white, blue, or red. Let's see, white, blue, red. Very nice. Just above here, there's access port into the electronics. And then below the center console is where your battery bank is located. You can see here easily labeled battery breakers. Just forward on the starboard side of the console is access to the head. So very spacious in here. This one does have a holding tank and a pump out overboard discharge. Up forward there's a flip up seat just forward of the center console. 
commonplace, easy to use with really nice upholstery and lowering armrests. Lots of cup holders up here and great storage. Since it's the catamaran, you have this nice wide bow once again. Um, so compared to similar monohulls, this boat does have much more volume up forward for storage. So you've got uh, locking rod storage on both sides up here on the bow, but then you also have much more storage in the gunnels as well. So lots of areas for rod storage. One last thing I want to point out is up top, of course we have the lights, jail audio, horn. You've got lots of rocket launchers here. So the factory set that came um, as well as a lot of additional stainless that were put in as well. You've got nav lights, built-in lighting back here aft, which is very nice. And then you've also got your outriggers. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the 2015 WorldCat 295 center console that's currently available here in San Diego. Feel free to reach out right away to check to see if this boat is still available, or if you have any questions about the boat, happy to answer them for you. Look forward to hearing from you soon.